I'm so excited. I find that it's just so like cool. It's just like, whoa. Come on, Jess, you gotta stay focused. Hopefully I have enough space on here. I like, deleted loads of my videos. <sighs> okay. I don't even know why I'm so excited. Um. Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm it's Jess with a tiny kiss. Um, today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, um, I think it's like here. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this is my bullying story. So, I just want to start off by saying thank you to literally all my family and all my friends for supporting me through like everything that I've been through in my life, because I've been through some tough times, you know, but not a lot of people know that about me, not a lot of people realise what I go through, like, they just think, oh, yeah, I'm the girl that's always happy and everything, and then they just think it's okay to, like, oh, my God, Jess, you're so happy. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> it all started when... I was obsessed, obsessed with Jacob Sartorius, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there, okay? I know I was obsessed, okay? But like, I bet loads of people have been obsessed by One Direction, Lee Murs, Little Mix, literally everyone, okay? You've all been obsessed with at least one person in your life, okay? Just like, give me. A give me strength, people. Um, so it all started then, and I used to like post about him and everything, see how much I love him. And I literally went through like my bios on Instagram and it literally had, oh my god, Jacob's Taurus, Jacob's Taurus, hot, 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 world, world, world. I'm just like, oh my god, Jess, what were you thinking? And like at the time, I thought, oh yeah, I just, I love Jacob, I'm gonna go and meet him and everything like that. Um, I'm going to his concert and I'm really excited. But uh, when I started posting things, everyone, literally every single person, would talk about it in school, shout his name in school, shout his songs in school. And in my personal opinion, I got kind of like offended by that because people would just make fun of me for liking someone. And then um, it got quite, not quite serious, but it just got a bit out of hand where wherever I went, someone would be singing his song or saying his name or just shouting at me through like field or playground or anything and i'm quite a quiet person but when you get to know me i'm obviously not i'm the complete opposite i'm not the type of person that would as soon as you meet me like literally like in a click of a finger i would be so crazy like you would have to gradually get to know me for me to become crazy or whatever so you can have fun with me it's that i'm like quite an in hopefully this doesn't really sound good but like i think i am one of the people that I like making people happy as you can tell and I like making people feel that they're happy and everything and that's like the type of person I am if you get to know me but if you just literally know me for like a couple of days or something and we talk and everything I'll probably be really nice to you but if you say literally one thing that would annoy me I would go like in the complete opposite direction that you're going so I probably wouldn't be friends of you or anything if you just call me ugly that is gonna like get in my heart and it's gonna th make me think that i am yeah so it all started when yeah do you know what i don't get i don't get the fact that people sang his songs right yet yeah, he's not one of the popular people and yet people know his songs and i'm just like if you know his songs that clearly means you're listening to his stuff to get at me like, I don't understand that, people. Like, if you want to listen to his songs, and then you're just going to go on to, like, a random person that you have no idea what they're going through, you just decide to just pick on them, like, oh, yeah, she looks vulnerable, I'm going to go and pick on her, and do it every single day. And do it every single day. That's not okay. It doesn't matter what it's for. It just, you don't do that to someone. It got to a point where I was, like, so caught up in it that I just didn't really focus on school, I didn't really focus on 
family or anything. I just focused on the fact that people didn't like me because I like someone else. And that made me realise that the popular people do things that make them popular, but that they're the negative things. The people that like me, I'm not popular, but to be honest, I don't really care because I know who my friends are. I know who's going to stick with me and I know that I have true friends. And the fact is that if you're not popular, it does not mean that you're not worthy and you're not like, oh yeah, you're not popular, I'll just, just leave, like you're irrelevant. That's not the truth, like, that's just so pathetic if you think that's how life works. I'm sorry, no. It's not. If you're popular, okay, it does not matter if you're popular or non-popular, okay? You're still human, you still deserve to live the life that you want, you still deserve to have a happy life, you deserve to live the life that you've always dreamed of, you deserve to live your dream, you deserve anything, okay? Like... It doesn't matter who you are, if you have a big nose, if you just don't like your hair, if you don't like your weight, if you don't like... If there is the tiniest thing you do not like about yourself, think about it this way, okay? There is literally no one in this world like you. And if someone tells you that you don't look pretty with makeup or you don't... Or you look ugly without it, they're wrong. Like, people need to realise that they are wrong. The people that say that are wrong because... There is li- I can't explain it, but it's just- it. I know what I want to say in my head, but it just- I can't say it because I just don't know how to put it. What I'm trying to say is that there is literally, out of the 7 billion people in this world, there's literally only one of you. There is not two of you, there's not three of you. People can't tell you how to become- a better use. Some people can't tell you to become ugly. People can't tell you to become pretty. It's impossible because that is you. Like you're your own person. People have got to realise that. And if people aren't happy with the way you are, if they're not even friends with you, if they don't even like you, for God's sake, then I don't know why you listen to them. Okay, I've learned that from my own mistakes. I don't know why I listen to people that brought me down so much that I literally did not want to, like, live anymore. That is, it got to that point last year where I was just like, oh my god, why does everyone hate me? Oh my god, I feel so poo. I'm not swearing on this because if, like, little children watch it, I don't want them. Like, yeah. Um, after, like, the Jacob story, um, I... It kind of stopped for a bit and I got okay back on my feet a tiny bit but then it just went downhill again I started falling out with friends friends started calling me ugly every single day people that I don't even people that I don't even know just started saying bad stuff about me like I would get messages and it would be oh my god Jess you're so ugly you think you're all of this I don't think I'm all that, to be honest. I don't think I'm all that, because if I did, then I would be out there doing things that people do when they think they're amazing. I would put loads of makeup on. I would literally put so much. I would do my eyebrows like slugs, wear lipstick that's not even on my lip. And if you want to do that, then that's fine. But I feel that people that do that aren't comfortable with themselves. And if people aren't comfortable with themselves, because I know how that feels, I know. <laughs> I know so well how that feels, and I know how hard it is to get yourself back where you were when you were five. When you were five, you don't even remember. But I bet people in your family remember how happy you were and how in love with life you were and how the little things matter. So, anyway. Yeah, it started getting really bad, like people would tell me to kill myself, people would tell me to drink bleach and it just got a bit too out of hand to be honest. Like, I didn't even know half the people and they would just say loads of stuff about me and then, oh my god, it got to a point where people would start putting on their social medias about me and they would take the mick out of me and they would say, oh my god, I would get with Jess any day, oh my god she's so pretty, oh my god she's so gorgeous, oh my god she's so peng. 
And then it would come back to me in school and I would just be sitting in class or something or going to my next lesson and people would just be shouting stuff. Oh my God, Jess, you're so paying. Meaning that like they're the so-called popular people and the popular people don't like me for some reason. And the fact they don't even know me and know what I've been through and the fact they say that is just out of order to be honest. And if you're watching this and you know that you've done something like that, just remember that I really don't care what people think about me. So you can say what you want, but you're just wasting your time. So, just saying that. But then, yeah, it got to the point where people were shouting stuff at me in the playground and, and then even girls got involved. Like, it wasn't just boys that were putting it on their social media. Girls were too. Being so mean that... I felt so down that I just didn't know how to live my life anymore. Just thinking of it now makes me want to cry because it's just like I've been through so much in my life that people don't know about and I'm probably not going to say on here. But like, yeah, it's just... Don't cry, don't cry. Um, it's just that loads of people don't know who like the the reason why i'm so happy now why well, i was um people don't know the reason why i try so hard to make people happy because i know what it's like to feel so depressed and just so down that you don't know how to live your life and you don't know what you're doing i know how that feels i've been there done that got the t-shirt it's hard, okay? Life is hard. You need to realise that life is so hard, but God makes it hard. Otherwise, what's the point in living when it's just so easy? Oh yeah, I'm just going to go and get some MAC makeup for it's like £200 every day because there's money on the trees. God's not going to do that because that that's just that's an easy life. You don't want an easy life when... You just gotta learn from your mistakes and just live it because there's no point getting caught up on the things that that never happened or that you wanted to happen but then it like changed. There's no point living up to that knowing that it didn't happen because God has a plan for every single person. And if even in real life the God's plan doesn't work out, he will make even if it's bad, okay, he will make it so it turns out right for you. In the end, it will turn out amazingly. But you've just got to give your life time and I promise you it will be worth it because you just got to realise that there's literally only one life. Like, when you die, that's it. I'm sorry, like, that's just the truth. Like, when you die, you just don't come back. Like, you don't see anyone. You don't see, oh my god, I've literally got pictures of family and everything. Obviously I'm not going to show you because that's personal, but you just got to realise that you only get one life, you know. You just got to live and live it, like look. You just got to live it because, you know, you only get one life, people. And if you don't live your life, you're going to have so many regrets when you're older that you didn't take. Oh, I see loads of stars. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Life's amazing. Life is amazing. Life is the best thing that's ever happened to you because if you think about it, there's just nothing if there's no life, you know? There's no laugh, there's no life.